All right, so today was day one of this DC blast. Uh, a little different from my training, and I always want to keep you guys in mind with this, is because of where I'm at and trying to bring up weaker body parts, I'm doing a different split than you'll see any DC program. But what I've got started off here is my working set rest pause of uh, cable curls. Big thing I want you guys to see on these is the negative. So it's squeezing up about a four count negative. That's four, three, two, up. So it's not four seconds, it's four count. Uh, and with these, uh, as you'll notice, there is some momentum, there is some squeeze. And you'll notice that on the last rep that I finally complete here, Matt actually gives me a little bit of help with those. Um, the idea here on my on my uh, log book on the helped rep is you might see something like 12 plus one. That's my notes to myself that I did not get 13 reps. I got 12 and then there was plus one means I got help. But in my head for where we're at, I need to make sure I don't leave anything on the table with something like this. If I can get a half a rep and then Matt can push me up for another half, I just note that, you know, so like the second set, I actually did two pluses. So it was a plus two set. Uh, and I note all that stuff so that I know that on my next attempt, I probably shouldn't really go up with these. I should just try to get rid of those plus ones, plus twos and do them on my own. But the idea here is making sure I'm doing them. So curl it up, nice, slow, control, negative, full pause at the bottom, curl it up again. This is a rest pause. Another big thing on the rest pause, guys, 15 full deep breaths in between each attempt. Up next, we have the pinwheel curls. On these, you'll notice a real stiff control across the body curling them up and then you might even be able to hear Matt in the background give me a three count negative from the top so it's up three two one other side that's very very key now on these ones I'm not rest pausing so I did two straight sets 12 to 15 reps the set you're looking at now was about 16 reps and then two kind of sloppy reps I ended up going up and wait for the second attempt to 60 pounds but I only got uh, 12 reps maybe 13 I uh, didn't film that one for this because I don't want to bore you guys with seeing the same boring stuff, but it was two working sets with these. These came after, of course, the one rest pause set that you saw on the cable curls. So again, bring them up, three count negative. Be obsessive about your negatives. You don't want to find yourself cheating on your negatives down the line and changing your logbook. As a matter of fact is, you didn't necessarily get stronger if you sped up your negative. You just got a little sloppier with how you're doing them. So again, curling them up three count negative as much as I can possibly do. And you will see on these last couple attempts, I kind of swing it up a little bit more to try my best to really focus on that negative. So don't ever let that negative slip away. That's where the muscle is gonna grow. We're only doing the positive, so we can turn around and do one more negative. So keep those up in your mind. Up next, we got into the stretch. Now, I don't do the traditional DC stretch on the barbell behind the back. I just find my shoulders, traps, I don't know, I don't know if it's my size or lacks of flexibility, but what I'm doing here is just making sure to really open up and stretch that bicep. Notice I've got the chest open up as well. Elbow is pushing forward, almost like I'm trying to hyperextend. I ended up holding these for about 80 seconds. Um, I'm timing on my phone, if you notice there, but I only showed about 20 seconds here, just not to bore you. This is a new movement for me for rest pauses. So these are my uh, dumbbell incline skull crushers. Big thing on these, if I'm gonna use them for this, is you're gonna notice the negative. Four, three, two, one, pause, then up. Brief pause at that bottom. I'm just finding by doing that, I get a little bit more control. To be honest with you guys, this is not something I'd really recommend a ton of you guys doing for one of your three movements for triceps of your meat and potatoes. And the reason is, is because you're gonna quickly run into a weight you can't do. I'm doing 75 pound dumbbells here, and it's a tough set to get into my rep range that I'm shooting for here. Um, I was shooting for between 25 and 30 reps total, um, and these were just brutal. So definitely a tricky one to hit in there. Um, I don't think I actually made it within my rep range, to be honest with you, I'd have to go back and look. But uh, the reason I'm doing these when I'm telling you not to is because that left elbow is, uh, got some issues with it it's healing it's getting better but i'm finding that the hammer movements have been a lot healthier for me so for this first blast of the off season i'm going to do a little bit of odd stuff i may end up just forcing for more reps on these because to be honest with you as you can see me struggling i can't imagine in six or so weeks only doing these a few times that i'm going to be seeing much higher than 80 maybe at best 
85 pounds, keeping that negative controlled and make sure you get that positive bottom and a full contraction. These are awesome to do, but I'd much rather see you guys doing the uh, easy bar dead skulls, close grip bench, reverse grip bench. Those are gonna be better choices for you as far as being able to move up smaller increments, you know, but this I have to do again because of an injury. So I wanted to show you guys what I'm truly doing rather than uh, pretend that it's something different. I always finish up with the hammer dips. Again, we're, we're just getting back to these, so it's kind of funny because they were actually pretty brutal for me. Not even a ton of weight on here. I have uh, four plates a side on there. Again, what I'm focusing on here is a controlled negative, trying my best not to activate my chest. Uh, I think, to be honest with you, I could have done a little bit better uh, towards the end of these. You see a little bit of leaning forward. I didn't feel my chest fire, but uh, watching the video back, I can definitely see that if I'd stayed a little more upright, I could have avoided any possibility of the chest coming in here. Again, just like we were talking about in the beginning, I force a couple of reps with these with my training partner. Um, I just find why I leave something on the table. You'll see I can't quite lock out. Matt helped me with two reps on that first attempt, so I mark it that way. How many reps I did on my own, how many were done with a little bit of help, that's my plus two on those, and make sure I mark it for the next workout. Now for me, these hammer dips, these are every single tricep workout. So you're noticing I got a lot higher rep range here. I was shooting for about 30 reps on this rest pause. Um, and again, watch this second set. You're seeing I can't quite lock out. So Matt just finishes the lock. This is something I need to work on as well, just because to be honest with you, I haven't been hitting DC for a minute. And that extra little lockout is absolutely key. So again, nice controlled negative, explode down on the positive. This set, you can really see that leaning forward I was talking about. You wanna watch that. This is a tricep movement. Try to keep your chest out of it. And this is why I love videos, guys, because you can look at these, and here I am putting a video up to show you guys and catching myself and saying, here's an error. Finally, we finish up with a tricep stretch. Now here, easy bar, basically a seated French press, just pointing those elbows to the sky. I would try to bring your elbows in a little bit if you can. With my shoulder surgery, I really can't bring them much in from that, but that should be your goal. You just hold this as long as you can. Try to focus that stretch all in the tries, and that's pretty much it. Once you're done with these, your day is over. I only did a 30 count here because my triceps are pretty, or my elbow's pretty tight, but all is good.